Okay, new illusion, uh, the new challenges. So this time Dark Lich was uh, the illusion challenge for global servers. If you're interested what Korea has, they actually received the Dark Hug Crower. So because we're sort of following the rotations, we can expect a Dark Hug pretty soon as well. I think we're probably gonna get another Dark Hug rotation. Uh, we should be getting a Darion, so the Light Vagabond, and after that we should be getting the Dark Hug. But for now, uh, let's talk about the Dark Lich, I would say. For the first five stages, this was definitely one of the easier rotations, but starting with level 6, uh, especially if you are stuck at level 6 currently, you will notice that yes, this stage is actually paid to win. Uh, since the condition requires you to bring a light mage, uh, if you look at the light units, uh, one stars, not a single mage, two stars, not a single mage, and three stars, believe it or not, not a single mage. So yes, you need to have a four star or five star mage, which there are only a few. If you notice the four stars, there are the light lich and the light mystic witch, and that's about it. So if you don't have those or don't have a nat 5 like i mean i got pretty lucky and i have her but if you don't have these even for nat 5s there aren't that many there is the cobalt bomber joker so that's about it really but yeah uh, let's get into how i did this and i'll explain the strategies uh, behind uh, these teams okay so this is the team for level one while it plays i'll explain what i needed to do so the first team is shush celia galleon you shouldn't be able uh, like shouldn't be having too much trouble with this uh, Shushu and Celia are pretty much must picks for this Galleon you can switch for anything That's just the unit I chose to go with Because first of all uh, my team did not have any defense break or attack buff Which Galleon has both This means he helps us buff it up Yeah you can see me using that little dragon transmog uh, Yeah I took it off uh, You can do it with a dragon transmog if you feel like it but your summoner will not have any skills, so let's just skip where I'm doing it uh, with my summoner. And yeah, uh, so what you need to know about this illusion garden is uh, the main things you need in order to protect yourself. So first of all, Dark Liches, uh, what they do is they first of all can pull you towards uh, one spot. The, as you can see that little pull thing, uh, they will be able to stack you up and hit all of you really easily, so you want to avoid that. And the second thing they're really good at is doing damage. Yes, this is one of the illusion gardens where you're actually taking damage and not just having to heal block your enemies like you needed to do with Shusho or Dark Hopations. So they have a ability to stack a lot of poison and they have ability to stack a lot of defense breaks. And also their passive actually increases uh, the damage they deal if you have a poison as well as decreases the damage they take uh, if you have a poison or any dot in general and yeah that was level two we'll continue with or rather level one we'll continue to the level two now with level two the condition actually requires you to not use any wind units and use a water mage again the problem with mages is there are not a lot of them uh, if you're lucky enough to have a Nadinha, i would say use her she's one of the better ones uh, if you want to use any other net 5, Alicia will be one of the better ones. Uh, her skill 2 actually does very good damage, it does a freeze and it also gives you mana if you kill something. So it's a really nice way to clean up all of those mobs. If not, uh, again it's just level 2. Uh, if you are not struggling too much with it, pick any mage. Uh, I would say from the free to play options, she is actually a decent one, I mean, I don't know if you will want to build a net 3 just for one stage, but uh, this skill applies uh, damage taken up, which will increase your damage, so if the Celia's uh, damage taken up doesn't land for whatever reason, uh, she is an option, but yeah, uh, don't get too stuck up on this one, and I would recommend either going for something like Alicia, Nadine High if you have them, or any other uh, water mage. As long as they either do damage or increase damage in some way, uh, that will do. And yeah, what I wanted to finish off is um, because the damage and basically just the main danger of uh, this dungeon is defense breaks, poisons and their passive scaling with poison, uh, you will need immunity for this. Uh, cleanse will not do because there are too many of them and you will not be able to cleanse in time. 
but uh, probably the easiest and the best option for that will be the Shushu. Uh, she was my go-to pick for pretty much all seven stages because first of all she's the main healer and you will need some heals because they do quite a bit of damage. Second of all, permanent immunity if she is soul linked, which I do recommend doing unless you have some sort of a play with uh, cooldown boosters like uh, the water elemental, what's it called, Konamiya, Dion, Eleonora, whatever. If you have those, you might uh, make use of those, but in general, if you do souling Shushu, you will be able to keep permanent immunity because 14 second immunity and you get 4 mana every 12 seconds. Plus, uh, because Celia passive procs, you will get mana regen, you will be able to use it even more. But yeah, for level 2, that's about it. I don't know why I missed the targeting there. But yeah, level 2, done. Now, level 3 requires you to not use any fire units and use a wind mage. And I'm gonna just go straight up and say, use Shimite, there is no better unit for this than him. And the reason for that is his recent buff. Uh, was insane and if you look at the skill 2 of him uh, yeah this one if the target has no beneficial effects he will do additional damage as well as give you mana regen up for 10 seconds this effect stacks if you hit multiple units which means that yes if you hit like 10 units with this skill you will be receiving level 10 mana regen up which is three times more mana which is uh I believe it is one mana every one second, so... Uh, do I need to explain more? Yeah, let's just go to the clip. I mean, worst case, if you do not have him for whatever reason, I mean, the event ended like a week ago, uh, Celia is another decent option. She is able to apply damage taken up, which will help you with the damage. And uh, Fuko is another decent option if you're really struggling with Nav Fives, uh, because his first skill actually has a defense break which will improve your damage quite a bit. But yeah, let's go to the run. You will see Shimite completely annihilate all of the units as well as give you insane, insane mana regions. And you will just shoot them. You will see the mana region just fly up way more than what there the heal could do. As you can see, he just hit a few units and I already have level six mana region up. Again, one of those is from Celia, but yeah. And look at that mana flying up whenever you get level 7. Let's wait for, for another wave, yeah? I just want to showcase that skill 2 potential. So level 2 mana regen, level 1 now. And whenever he uses the skill, boom, level 7. Just like that. One of them is from Celia, five of uh, other mana regen levels is from him. So yeah, uh, you, you won't have anything to use your mana for, honestly. Like, And if you spam it manually, you will be able to upkeep level 10 mana region very very easily as you can see again he will hit a lot of units level 10 mana region look at that mana flying up once per second and yeah uh just go straight for the boss really don't bother with the ads unless you are dying again this is level 4 so it's getting a little bit more difficult so if you are dying i do recommend going for the water one uh, because you have a wind unit you will be able to kill it pretty easily and the water one does have an attack buff on itself so yeah be careful there uh don't worry about the wind lich because with immunity he's not able to do anything to you same with the fire one and yeah that's pretty much oh that was only level three okay and the level four now requires you to not use any water units and use a fire mage luckily for us our uh, shushu and celia bypasses all of those exclude conditions so you're able to use them all throughout level 1 to level 4 and I believe even level 6 to level 7 uh, you won't be of course able to use Celia in level 5 where there is not force only but for this one uh, there are a bit less uh, useful fire mages from this stage if you have a segment feel free to use her uh, I do want to give a shout out to Izelia because first of all you will already have her built so uh, because one of the quests required her level 70 awaken 10 might as well make use of her and the cool thing about that is for all summoners except Soleta I believe because Soleta does not have a burn uh, she is a very good option for defense break so as you can see with the second skill if the target has a burn uh, there's a 60% chance she will decrease defense for 20 seconds that's a very long defense break by the way 
Uh, it hits four times, so uh, there's a very, very high chance that it will actually land that defense break. It's not 60%, it's probably closer to like 95 plus. And uh, the good thing is the original three summoners all have a burn on their skills. So if you are a cleave, uh, you have a burn on your second skill at level 70. If you are an Orbia, I believe both level, uh, rather uh, skill 2 and skill 3 have a burn. And if you're a Kina, I think your skill 1 has a burn as well. So once you land that burn, you will be able to land uh, the defense break very easily. And of course, uh, there are a few other options if you really don't feel like using those. Uh, this guy is pretty good if you feel like building him or you might already have him from Siege because he does have a defense break and a stun. And here's the burn as well if you need it for whatever reason. But yeah, decent fire options there. I would recommend just uh, making sure that you have a defense break. I did not, so uh, the fight took quite a bit. But yeah, again, same plan. A uh, perma buff with Shushu immunity, so you don't get defense broken and poisoned. Uh, Celia there for the damage taken up, mana regen, healing, all of that. And the fire mage is mostly there to increase your damage. I mean, Sehmet. She does not have defense break, but she has very good damage with her skill 2 as well as skill 3. She's also able to silence, which can prevent you from taking a lot of damage, because as you know, look at all these pulls. Uh, if you do not buff immunity, or even if you do and you're struggling with surviving, it will just allow you to avoid those uh, little nasty skill 1s, the skill 2s from liches. If you do silence them, they will simply not be able to use them and will only be hitting you with basic attacks, which is Another big bonus, but yeah, apart from that, I'll let the run go and we'll jump to level 5. And now level 5, the uh, nat 4 and below only. So this one was a little bit difficult, however, I would say it was still easier than the previous rotations with Shushu and uh, the Dark Heart Magician. So, Again, uh, Shushu remains, you need her for that uh, permanent immunity. For other options, your goal will be to either increase your damage with stuff like attack buff, uh, elemental damage buff if you're able to find it, as well as debuffs, so like damage taken up, defense break, all of that. Uh, so there are quite a few options. I chose Purian because first of all he will boost my uh, cooldowns as well as critical rate which will first of all increase my cliff damage because he's quite low on critical rate and second of all uh, it will allow Shushu to use her uh, skill 2 even off souling uh, permanently and it will also boost the damage of the third unit or whatever that unit does uh, to use their skills more often as well so uh, this is the team I chose it was Purian and Shannon now that I look at it, after using it, Shannon wasn't really a good pick. I was sort of banking on her doing defense break with skill 1, but that only needs to hit one target, so... Uh, in order to land a defense break, you would first need to kill pretty much all of the other glitches, so... I wouldn't recommend using Shannon, and... Uh, the main thing you really need is a defense break, and there are quite a few defense break options here, so... First of all, uh, the Dark Lich that you actually just farmed is... An amazing option first of all uh, this gives defense down and you are able to easily poison them as well as pull them into a, a tight little spot where your summoner is able to hit them aoe way more easily so if you don't have any other options uh, i would highly recommend dark lich because you will actually need him for level 7 as well if you do not have him there are some decent options as well so uh, let me see what there was I had a few units in mind, I believe. Let me see where they are. Dark Penguin, if you have him, he does have a decent break and a provoke, which, especially if you're a more ranged summoner, he is able to take away some of that damage away. Uh, there is Crow if you're able to wake your folk, but again, he's an assassin, so if you do not have any other frontline, he'll die very easily. Hell yeah, if you go balls deep and have no other options just to nuke it. Again, the Fire Inferno is a very good option because defense break plus stun. But yeah, honestly, if you're looking for the easiest option, I would say just build up uh, the Dark Lich and use him for level 5 and level 7 as well. Also, uh, I believe she is really good in here, but I did not have her, so I was not able to make a uh, good use of her. 
And yeah, for the stage itself, uh, you'll see that really no different game plan here. Um, basically, uh, even if you go in with a cooldown booster, I would still recommend you to buff up Shushu first uh, because, uh, you know, the monster AI in this game, it is bad. Even if they have their skill, they will not buff it. As you can see, my Shushu is just defusing the buff. Uh, again, look at that. 10, 10 seconds have passed, my units are not full HP. She finally decided to buff after like 10-15 seconds, so yeah, make sure to pre-buff uh, whenever you enter. And if possible, whenever you start each new wave, because yeah, the AI is it's not good, it's not good. Look at that, Shushu, again, a bit difficult. But yeah, apart from that, just buff up, uh, try to land a defense break on as many targets as possible, because that's the main way you increase your damage, and after that, just nuke the boss whenever wave 3 comes out. And now stage 6. Oh boy. Now I have some beef with Come to us over this stage. Come to us. You make content that is supposed to help people get light and dark net fours and some half magicians, sure. And you put a condition of having a light mage. Where's the mage in 1 stars? Where's the mage in 2 stars? Where's the mage in 3 stars? There's not a single mage. And even in 4 stars, there are only 2 mages out of 21 units. Which is Halfaz, which probably the most popular one because he's somewhat used in Siege. And Mystic Witch, which is not used at all. And... Hello? How are people supposed... Like, you actually cannot enter the stage without a light mage. So if you're not lucky enough to summon one of these, you, you just have to repeat level 5. There's literally no way for you to do it, so I don't know. Yeah, if, if you're lucky enough to have one of these, or both, uh, Halfords will of course be the better one, because he is able to heal block, which matters a bit for that fire lich, because he does have some healing, I believe. And he is able to pull them all into one spot, which allows your summoner to hit them way easier. If you don't have him, I mean, you're sort of only left with either the Mystic Witch or an F5 if you're lucky. I do have Bailey. I didn't use her for this, uh, just so I could experience what it's like using an F4 unit a bit more. Because, I mean, you're way more often, or rather, you may way more... Words, words, farmer, words way more likely to have a net 4 over a bailey but yeah uh, if you're lucky enough to have a net 5 definitely use one of those i've looked through the mages and i think all of them are better than the net 4 mages so but yeah uh worst case half us will be your better option if you uh have to choose between the two and yeah again coming back to the main team of shushu Celia, that's like the core thing and Halfas, again, I had to even power up because I don't really use him. But yeah, um, Light Mage, that, that was bad design. Honestly, here's what I'm gonna say. Um, if you do not have a single Light Mage, I would wait, like I would stop doing Illusion Garden here and wait for Thursday. I don't know if they will do this, but maybe they will realize that this stage is literally not possible unless you have a specific light and dark net 4 at least. And maybe they will make some sort of a easier way to complete the stage, allowing you to progress to like level 6 and level 7. If they don't, then you'll have to just repeat level 5. But yeah, honestly, don't rush it too much. Don't give up on it just yet. And instead of doing level 5 multiple times, Wait until Thursday, see what happens when the update comes. If they do not make the stage any easier, then shame on you, come to us, and unfortunately you have to do level 5. And if they do, then uh, you will have a chance to complete level 6 and level 7 for some extra pieces. But yeah, apart from that, here's the run again. Uh, same thing, just go straight for the boss. The reason we go straight for the boss here is we simply don't have enough time because we don't have a defense break in this uh, team as you can see. That's the amazing thing about Cleave. 
and in some cases probably Kina as well, but at least with Kina you will have an attack buff with the fire one. But yeah, um, just go for the boss, I don't know why I went for the fire one, and yeah, I'll let it run, and we'll jump to the last stage. And now level 7, so you need to place at least one light monster, which is good enough because we already have two in there, and uh, a dark mage. So if you look at the options for dark mages, uh, the Grego you just did, because you got to level 7 you will be able to uh, summon him and maybe even get another book level. But uh, yeah, if you look at the mage options, again, nat 1s, nat 2s and nat 3s do not have a single mage. That is Dark Element. Why? <laughs> and uh, if you're looking at the Nat 4s, uh, Grego will be the best option. Inferno is decent. It's pretty much the same thing as Grego, just a little bit worse. So this one has a Defense Break and Poison. This one has a Stun. Uh, possibly not looking at because it only activates when he, uh, he dies. So yeah, he's also an option. Mystic Witch is there, but yeah, I mean, it's just poison and root none of those really matter because you're not really running away from the liches so yeah uh if you don't want to build grego for whatever reason inferno is an option or any nat 5 that you have but yeah i would just recommend building grego he's a good unit there's really no need to not build him maybe you have some kind of a nat 4 mage uh already awakened 15 I mean, there are like no mages at Nat 4, so I don't know how you would be able to do that, but if you do have him, uh, maybe you have the Light Lich maxed out for Siege, uh, you can also Soul Connect the Dark One, uh, because you will not be able to awaken them fully with just the pieces you receive from the first six stages. But yeah, apart from that, uh, Dark Lich is amazing, especially if he uses second skill and then first skill, uh, he will be able to group everyone up like pull everyone together and use his first skill for the defense break and as you can see even without the power bonus i was able to wipe the whole wave in like 25 seconds with cleave mind you with cleave i am not a dirty orbia user look at that look at that pull i even switched to manual to defense break because that pull was so well timed and i didn't want to miss out on it but yeah, apart from that, again, kill the waves, kill the boss, really nothing special here. Uh, killing the boss will be a bit more difficult, but if you do land a defense break, that'll work out. For this one, I would also recommend running around a bit, especially if you feel like your units are dying. Let them use their pulls thingies, right? Uh, those pulls, those roots, or whatever they're called, and dodge around them so you don't eat all of the damage. I mean, if you're a cliff and you use three backline units like this, you will probably eat it alone, but if you only have one frontline or they are targeting your backline, it's gonna be a little bit harder. But yeah, apart from that, uh, keep dodging. Once you have immunity, just keep perma healing and you should be fine. And yeah, I'ma keep it running until the end. That's about it. Hope this helped, by the way. And yeah, peace.